Hi, my name is Oliver and in this video I'll teach you how to animate a fake 3D phone in After Effects. So to get started, I have illustrated this simple phone and split it into three different layers that I'll quickly walk you through. So we have the front layer of the phone, which is sort of the interface and the outlines. And one thing that's quite important here is that the outline all around it is a stroke, so it will maintain the width when we start to animate the paths. Then we have the back of the phone, it's the exact same shape, and we just have some buttons here on the side, and you can also see if we enable the top layer, they're sort of sticking out right now. And then at the bottom, we have some light emitting from the phone, and you just see that's sort of a, a simple gradient that goes out in both directions. And the reason why I put it beneath the phone is so we don't distort the colors on the interface itself. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial and support the channel, you can go down in the description and download the project file so you can take a deeper look at my keyframing or use my illustration to create the animation yourself. So let's start to animate. We'll go roughly 12 keyframes ahead and here we'll set a keyframe for everything. This is sort of our main position, the sense of the phone where you see it from the front. And we can just start with the front of the phone. We can turn everything else off. And what we want to do is animate every single path. So to find them, we'll go up in the search bar here and search for path. And you can see they all pop up. And we just want to add a keyframe to every single path. So you can see there's a path for, for everything in here. It's a shape layer. And we'll just go through them really quickly. Like this. And that is sort of our main position uh, for the front of the phone. Now we want it to be turned to the left and the right. And the way we do this is that we go to the very start. Then we want to select every single path. So just drag over and hold. And now we want to get a transform box so we can actually animate the paths. So we press Command and Control T to get this transform box. Now we click here at the middle point, hold, and then we press Command or Control and hold that while we drag. So it will scale evenly from both sides. And we'll just drag it in so we get this line, which is essentially just the stroke of our outline. And now you can see that when we go through this, we have this faux 3D rotation of the front part. And actually, this could be rotated either to the left or the right side, uh, because we don't really have the back to show what side it's at. And therefore, we can just go ahead to roughly one second and copy all of these first keyframes and paste them again. And that way we just have this very simple animation where it goes back and forth. So this is the first part of the animation. Now we'll go ahead and look at the back of the phone. And if we turn this on, we can go into it. And you can see that I have the left button, the right button and the back layer. And first of all, we want to work with the back. So we can just turn off the left and right button. Then we go into the back and into the group and select the path. And here you can see it's just the same path as sort of the outline of the front of the phone. So we can just select every single point here Press Command and Control T again to get the transform box. And we just want to add a keyframe to the center. Then we go to the start, just get the transform box again. And we do the exact same, hold down Command and Control while dragging. And now we simply want to adjust this so it's at one side. And you might want to zoom in a bit for this so you can actually see the exact thing. And essentially, you just want to roughly get it to the point where it has the width of the phone. So right around here, and you see if we click out of that, we sort of have the back of the phone here. And now what we want to do is actually go to the other side here. So at one second and just repeat the process, but do it for the, for the other side. So we can actually just copy this path keyframe. So we get the exact same depth. And then we just drag it to the other side, roughly around here. And now you can see that we can actually see what direction it's turning in because we have that 3D or faux 3D part of, of the phone. So you can see that now it's turned to the left and then it turns to the right. So we want to animate the buttons and we can turn them on again right here. And then we just want to animate the position 
So we'll go into the transform and add a keyframe for the position of both of them, like this. And then we can go to the point where it's turned to the left. And now you have to imagine that this is the button that should be hidden because it's turning to the left. And therefore we can just take that button and just drag it in here so it matches with the outline and it's just hidden in there. And then we want to take the other button, so that is the right button, and that should be roughly in the center of the back part here, so in the darker area. And that way you can see then when we start to rotate this, we get the rotation and then it's just on the side here in the end and that's what we want. Then we go to one second and we just do the reverse. So the left button is the one that should be visible here in the center roughly. And then we have the right button, which should be hidden right here. So now when we zoom out a bit and take a look at everything, we can just press Command, Control A and U to see every single keyframe. And we can just press F9 to ease it. And that way we just get a bit smoother animation. So when we play this back, you can see that we just have this quite simple rotation of the phone. And if you find it a bit hard to see the back of the phone here, you can see it right here. It's just because I think this color palette looks really good. You can of course do it with whatever color you'd like. Uh, and now we want to animate the light. So the light right here in the center, we want to animate a few things. So we essentially want to, first of all, animate the scale. So press S as in scale and turn off the constraint proportions. And then we just want to go to either side and add a keyframe because this is sort of the ending position. Then we want to go to the center and here we just want to take the X scale and just scale it in quite a bit. So right around here, because if we're in the center here, the light would be hitting us right into the camera. And of course it's hidden behind the phone. So you wouldn't really see that from this angle. So when we have animated the scale, we simply want to go in to the contents, the light and the gradient fill. And we want to animate the gradient. So we can go to one of the sides, this as an example, and add a keyframe, go into edit gradient. And now we just want to have it shown on the left side because that's where the phone is turned at. And we just want to take the opacity from the right side and drag it in like this all the way to the center. So you can see it, the light is not showing on the right side. Click OK. Then we can go to the other side here, edit the gradient and just do the opposite. So you can see we drag this out to the side and we drag this in. And that way we just have it showing on the right side. And then in the center, we don't want it shown on either side. So we just drag both of them in like this. And we want the, the sort of gradient here to be showing rather quickly. And also because of that, we just want to drag the keyframes in a bit, sort of like this. So you get the effect where it's showing much earlier. And the last thing we want to do here is just animate the path of the light. Let's so go to the center, add a keyframe, and we can actually just drag these out to the side because this is the final sort of path. And then in the center, we just want to select the top points, drag them down so they become linear, select the bottom points and drag them up so they become linear as well. And now that we have done that, we can go into the layer and press U and just make sure that everything is eased. And we can just sort of take a look at it. And you can see we have that light switching from side to side. So that's what we want. And now that we have done this, we can start to rig it. So we actually link it to a controller. So it's much easier to animate when, whenever you want. But there's one thing you have to remember here, because you could do this with joysticks and sliders, the sort of extension or script plug in for After Effects. Um, and if you do it that way, you could link up first of all the rotation and then you can link up some sort of animation uh, here on the phone. But uh, the way I'm going to show you right now, if you do that, you won't be able to animate the interface of the phone. And therefore, you may just want to take these keyframes and animate the phone rotation however you want. That way you can animate the interface as well. But when you start to rig it up like this, uh, that will sort of get locked so you can't really change this. 
but this also depends on what you have showing on the phone and whether it needs to be animated or not. So we'll go ahead and select every single layer, right click and pre-compose it. We can just call this the phone. And when we have gotten this pre-comp, we want to right click it, go to time and enable time remapping. And this just enables you to essentially add a keyframe to any point of time and sort of stretch it or make it slower. But what we're going to do is link it up with expressions. So we'll go to effects and presets and we'll search for the slider control. Drag that onto our phone and we just call this the fake 3D. And now we want to alt or option click the time remap. And then we're going to link it to the slider. And when you have linked it like this and you start to drag it, you can see that it's quite hard to drag out because the values are so low because at one it's essentially done and at zero it's the starting position. So we just want to take this expression and let's say divide it by 100. And that way, when you drag it out, there's a lot more control. And when you get to 100 in the slider, the animation is done. So this way, if you want to animate the phone, you can just go in here, add a keyframe to the slider, press U to see the actual keyframe here, just drag it to the very start. And then we can go a bit ahead, animate it to the point where we want it to be. So that might be right here. And then we can go a bit ahead and just let it slowly rotate a bit more. And that way we can go and select the keyframes, press F9 to ease them, go into the graph editor. And right here, we can sort of make the easing, just make it linear here towards the end and make it catch that curve right here. Then we can press P as in position, right click and separate the dimensions and just animate the Y position, drag that a bit ahead and then just drag it down here from the very start ease it, go into the graph editor, and then we can essentially just add a bit of simple easing. And that way you have a very simple animated phone. And of course you can spend a lot more time animating this, but this is just sort of the, the simple idea behind it. And this is the way that I would do it and I would rig a phone. Now there's a lot of different ways that you could rig this. This is essentially the one that I find to be the easiest and the most simple. So this is the way that I would do it. Of course, if I wanted to animate the interface, I would go in and use the scripts or just joysticks and sliders just to get a lot more control over that sort of area. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, post a comment down below and tell me if you had any problems with this or if you have any suggestions for future tutorials. If you create anything from this, make sure to share it with me on Instagram at Oliver Randolph and make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get notified when I upload future videos. That's all for now, till next time.